can do is um, well, I can use I can pick up a spare bottle on the way to camp. Yep. Do the third one from that from another bottle. Yeah, we're going to do the one yeah. side as well. Today, sun shining, there's no wind, it's an absolutely dingle day. So we've chosen today to walk about a kilometre north northeast of the camp to take some snow samples of the local environment. And what we're going to do then is we're going to walk about a kilometre south of the camp as well and take snow samples at about 250, 300 metre intervals. And the reason why we're doing that is we have analysed the snow at the site itself from the surface of where we're drilling. And that's to tell us what's in the snow in the environment when we start to drill. But we don't really know whether that snow is representative of the whole environment or whether it's just snow around the camp. And we may have incidentally added things to that snow, building the camp and moving around. So what we're doing today is we're taking a transect, a long line across the camp from about a kilometre northeast of it to a kilometre southeast. And we're going to analyse the snow, about 20 litres of snow, which will melt down into about 4 litres of water. And we're going to find out what bacteria are in there. And hopefully it will be consistent right the way across the transect, but also in the site itself. When we get into the lake itself, we want to know that the things that we find in there have actually come from the lake and not from either the drill fluid or the area around the site. So what we're doing today is we're doing the sampling of the area around the site so that we know what sorts of organisms live in the snow here at the Ellsworth site. And not just at the campsite where, we've built, where we have our buildings and our tents and our drilling equipment, but also in the local region. So we've gone a long, long way away from the camp so that we can be sure that there's no influence of what we're doing on the snow samples that we're taking. 